Majid Noirs on LBC. Call 0345 6060 973. Good afternoon, it's Majid Nawaz here on LBC. Now, uh, some of you may have heard Andrew, the first caller, refer to Priti Patel suggesting she wanted to starve the Irish into submission. So I've uh, done some checking while you've been listening to the news headlines because I know you guys all love listening to the news headlines and I used the opportunity to do some checking uh, because I hadn't heard that before. And it turns out, according to a column in the Irish Independent by uh, Ailish O'Hannon, um, turns out it's fake news. So please all do check your references when you mention them, because it turns out what she actually said, and this is where um, it's going to be quite surprising, unless somebody can find another quote, uh, what she actually said is the following. This paper appears to show the government were well aware Ireland will face significant issues in a no-deal scenario. Why hasn't this point been pressed home during the negotiations? There is still time to go back to Brussels and get a better deal. End of quote. So unless someone's aware of a specific quote where uh, Ms Patel has specifically requested that the Irish be starved into submission, I do suggest that we stop spreading fake news. Yeah. Listen to what they have said in the past. Pretty Patel suggested, suggested that we should said. starve you into starve. submission, yeah, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty Patel did genuinely suggest that the Irish could somehow be brought to do our bidding by... Um, restricting food supplies into into the country, which, I, I, again, you know, <laughs> Home Secretary. 